Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Sebastian from Mode 7 FPV and today I'm going to do a little different video. People are always asking me, Sebastian, what's your setup? What motors do you prefer? What props are you using? Can you share your pits and rates? Yada, 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 all that stuff. So today I'm going to show you really quick what my setup actually is and even show my pits, rates and filter settings at the end of the video. So as you probably know, this is the Armaton Marmot 5 inch frame. Being a sponsored pilot, of course, this is my preferred frame of choice. It has some nice features like the uh, adjustable camera cage, which is, which is super durable. And yeah, it's, it's just a really nice piece of uh, technology. I just love this frame. Totally recommend it, of course. Um, my video setup on Discord is the uh, DJI FPV system. In this case, I'm using the Cadex Vista that's sitting in the back, um, which f fits perfectly into this frame. The quad is powered by a 6S LiPo from Tattoo. I prefer uh, the R-Line batteries with 1050 milliamp hours. And the heart and the brain of the quad is provided by Hobbywing and it's the G3 stack. This is an F4 processor sitting on a 60M 4-in-1 ESC. Really good stuff, never had any problems with it and it's sitting in all of my quads so I totally recommend the Hobbywing stuff, really cool stuff. Um, the motors, the motors are the pretty new F40 Pro 4 by T-Motor and those are the ones with a 1950 kV and hands down those are the very best motors I've ever flown on any of my quads and yeah what can I say those are really really nice as you can see they already look super cool um, the props you might guess those are the, um, the S3 by Ethics and yeah those are in my opinion the best props fitting to a 6S setup yeah my RX is TBS Crossfire, so nothing special going on here. And those TPU parts are provided by Brain3D. They are doing some amazing work when it comes to 3D printing for your FPV setup. So this is basically everything you need to know about all the hardware I'm using here. So let's take a look underneath the hood. And what are the numbers in Betaflight? So here we are in Betaflight 4.2. Um, this is the pit section, and as you can see, I'm using the sliders. So I just shut up for a moment so you can take a look at the numbers. Those are my rates. I changed them recently a little bit, make them a little bit faster. And here is the filters. In case you have any questions left, feel free to leave a comment and ask me anything you want. So yeah, that's it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or thumbs down or even leave me a subscription. That would be very nice. So happy flying and see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,